we headed out to Sun Life Stadium for a full demonstration of the new system with this all new Ford Explorer and these Fiestas, putting these cars in several real scenarios. Here's a little bit more on how the system works. It's using wireless communication, the kind of wireless that you might use in your laptop or your smartphone, and bringing it to the automobile world. It's like, here's my position, here's my speed, here's my acceleration, here's where I've been, here's where I'm going. So now it's time to put the system to the test. We went ahead and positioned our autocast cameras all over so we could capture every angle of the action. Well, let's imagine, if you will, we got the green light at the intersection, and let's say this guy, he's going to blow through the red light, maybe he's drunk or he's not paying attention. He runs through the intersection, and we're going to get the warning. We need to stop. Wow, that's amazing. So here are two important final questions. First up, Will this technology be exclusive to Ford? We've had a lot of luck, you know, working with other car makers since 2002 on this technology and also working with the United States Department of Transportation. And second, will the system eventually replace human drivers? If you have a car driving itself, it's got to be able to first know what's going on around it and then make decisions. And humans are really good at making decisions in complicated situations. Cars need a lot more work on artificial intelligence to get to that level.